Hi, my name is Moella, and in this tutorial, I want to continue talking about adding lazy loading to custom list view. Let's look at the final result of this session. As you see, I'm scrolling up and down, and the items are being added from top and bottom. Now let's see what we exactly want to do in this session. In previous session, we talked about showing only items within visible range. So we said that we will start from first index to last index. Now we want to emit those items which are out of this range. So we need to deal with extra number of items, something more than from first index to last index. So we say first index minus extra, last index plus extra. So what happens is something like this, dealing with wider range of items. So instead of dealing with first index to last index, that is wider range of items. So this is the result. We deal with visible range plus extra to do what to emit the items which are out of visible range okay let's make it this is what we did in previous session and these two lines are the things that we want to do in this session so let's do the first one let's move it up we don't need this line so let's emit that by Control l Okay, now we are supposed to deal with extra number of items. So let's have a variable for that. Let's define it. Dim extra as integer. Maybe that is something like 10, depending on the items and its type in your program. So simply, we want to say first index minus extra let's see what happens let's run the application but as you see there is something wrong here let's see that we have problem here minus 10 this index can you guess the problem our for loop has to start from zero but in the beginning of the process it starts from minus 10. So how to tell that to start from zero? Like this. Choose between zero and this number. And please find the maximum number. So if that is less than zero, it will start from zero. So let's see if it works. Yes, as you see, that is working. Now let's add extra number here, extra, and let's see if it works. Yes, it's working, but as you see, we have 30 items. Let's go to uh, layout number 30. As we reach to that number, we have problem there in this index. You know why? When we reach to the end of the list, it will add 10 extra numbers to that. So again, we say choose the minimum between this number and the custom list view size. Minus one. Now let's see what happens. Yes, it's working even when we reach to the end of the list. Okay, this is number 30. Very good. Now we want to emit the items which are out of visible range. How to do it? Let's see. So here I say, if I is greater than first index and 
i is smaller than last index, then add the layout. Okay. Otherwise, remove the layout. Else, let's bring it here. How to remove the layout? If p number of items bigger than zero, if a layout already loaded, then remove it. p dot remove all views. So let me summarize it. Now we are dealing with wider range of items, visible range plus extra numbers. But if i is within our visible range from first index to last index, please load the layout. But if i is out of visible range, remove the layout. Now let's see what happens. Let's rerun the application. It's working, but there's a little problem maybe here and here. So what about if I deduct one number here and add one number here? Yes, that's good. But these two numbers will depend on the height of your items. If you don't want this kind of animation, uh, maybe here you can say minus extra number plus extra number. Or the other thing that you can do is making that zero. Okay. Now you will see the list without any animation. Very good. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial too. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and wait for my other tutorials.